So now if you look at the code for our local weather and our city weather list, you'll notice that we're duplicating a lot of code. So this is a good example of how we can move code out of this home page template and into a directive or component that we can reuse. We're going to be using a component because in Angular 2, a directive doesn't have a template. It just adds behaviors to an existing DOM element. So we're going to create this component called weather and use the local weather template code and home page as a starting point for our weather component. And I'll just modify the local weather variable to a generic weather, which will be the input for this component. Now I'll jump back to the controller and add in the temperature pipe so that we'll be able to format the temperature to Fahrenheit. And going back to our home page, we can see how we're going to be using this component inside of our home page. So the name of our component is called weather and we're going to be passing in the weather to a input variable called weather. And then we're going to output an event called view more. And then we'll respond to that in our home page through a function we'll call view forecast and pass in whatever arguments from our component using the event variable. This will make more sense as we flesh out our weather component class. To start, we'll add our input decorator, which will add special metadata to our component to allow us to accept the weather variable that we had in brackets in our component. Likewise, the output component will allow us to output an event from our component that our homepage will be able to subscribe to. That output event is going to be a special type of observable which is used specifically for custom events like this. So our event emitter is going to return the weather object that we passed in as an input. So I'm going to make that event emitter of type object. And when the user clicks on my weather component, I'm going to add this click event called hit weather. And all this click event is going to do is fire our custom event passing back the input weather. This type of use case isn't necessary as we could have just added the click event to the component on the home page. But this will illustrate how we might use a custom event inside a component. So now that we have our click event in place calling our custom event, let's go back to our home page and import our weather as a directive. To clarify what we're importing, I'm going to go back and rename the weather component as weather L, as in weather element. So once I add the weather L as a directive, my component should be fully working in my home page. So now let's reuse this component for the city weather list by using the same ng for loop and passing the weather variable to the component. So now when our app refreshes, it should work exactly the same as it did before. Except now we have a single place to manage the code for our weather component. We'll add a couple cities to confirm. And it looks like everything still works the same.